Welcome to the Malala Library Teen STEM Summer Lightning Bug Circuit Card. First, you're going to take a pin or something sharp and poke holes where the LED light is later going to poke through the card. And then you're going to turn the card over and place the copper wiring along the guide lines that you see there. You're going to cut it and then peel off the backing and place the wire along the guidelines. You want to make sure that the wire goes all the way down where it's supposed to go. Fold it over so that the wire on top will be able to touch the battery. And then at the top here where it sees you want to make sure that there's a break there so it doesn't touch the positive and negative LED light lines. And then make sure that the wire is going to go all the way under the battery. You're going to put the battery with the positive side type up and then tape it securely on to the card. Once the battery is taped on securely to the card, fold the copper wiring part up and make sure that it is going to the copper wire is going to touch the battery. This is important. Insert the LED light with the long side on the positive lead side. It's a little tricky to do. Once you get it all the way through, pushing it all the way down, bend it so that the leads touch the copper tape. Sometimes it doesn't want to quite lay down and you may have to push it a little bit. So the longer side should be on that upper positive side and bend to the right when you're looking down on it. And then if you did it correctly, if it works out right, it should light up when you push the copper down on the battery. I always feel really relieved when I see it light up. I always double check to make sure that the battery, that the light lights up before I tape the leads to the copper, just in case I need to add a little bit more copper or make things go a little bit different, but everything should work out easily. Now I got a little bit too rough with this card and I poked the LED light through the paper, but that's easily fixed by just putting a little bit of tape on the back of the paper to reinforce the card a little bit. And you can't even tell. And the light lights up beautifully. So I have a beautiful lightning bug card. My tape was giving me a little bit of fits, I'll be honest. If you have tape at home, you might want to use your own. Now that that's done, you've got the front of your card finished. So take the eight and a half by 11 and fold it in half. And then you're going to, I wanted to cut my, um, front of my card down a little bit. So make sure when you're cutting your card down the front of it, don't cut that copper wire um, tape. So cut around carefully. And when you get near the copper wire tape, make sure that you're not going to cut that because if you cut that connection, your light will no longer work. So I've cut that down and I'm going to add some glue to the upper three quarters area of the jar. And I'll show you why the upper three quarters, because you want to leave that lower area with the battery out. 
because I can, you can pull the tab out with that copper wire and then it won't light up. You can save your battery that way. If the card goes into to the envelope with it, um, with the piece folded under, there's a chance that um, it could be left on, your light could turn on and stay on, and it, your battery may be um, dead by the time your card gets to the person that you intend it to. So if you're gonna send it through the mail, just make sure that you pull that tab out and there you have it. You have a beautiful card. Enjoy and let me know if you have any questions or need anything else. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you guys next month with the next activity.